I know people have a hard time hearing this, but when you have been with a narcissist, you have been in a spiritual war. Listen, the Bible tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So that lets us know up front that it's not the person. It is never about the person, the flesh, but it is about the spirits that operate within that person. You are dealing with a legion of demons. And you gotta understand that narcissistic abuse throws you into the realm of spiritual warfare. And this is why people suffer so much when they're coming out of the abuse, because you've been in this whirlwind that you didn't see it coming. You've had fiery darts hitting you from every which angle. Listen, I want to let you know that you don't have to stay in the fog, fear, obligation, and guilt, because the number one thing the enemy wants you to do is operate in fear. When God's word told us that he did not give us a spirit of fear, but narcissists want you in the fog. Narcissists want you to be obligated to their demonic altars so that you can continue to be tied. And they want you to experience great guilt for being able to break free and go no contact. You don't know, you don't owe the narcissist an explanation as to why you are going no contact. You don't even have to say to them because you feel like, you know, the smear campaign is doing a number on you. You don't have to say, oh, I forgive you. You can forgive in silence. It's best that you do because they will, they will hijack your prosperity. They will hijack your future and make you feel that you owe it to them to stay connected since you said you forgive them. Listen, forgiveness is never an indicator that you need to be, you need to stay connected to that demonic altar because let's face the facts. They are unrepentant. That's why they never change. They simply change the characters in the play. And it is a play, one that Hollywood scripts so many times if we would only open our eyes to see. Listen, you owe the narcissist nothing and you owe yourself the opportunity to be set free. Healing and deliverance is available to you. God bless you.